Good evening guys and girls. Um, welcome to another review. Now this is a brand new set. This is the fifth Doctor's TARDIS and the fifth Doctor from the 1982 story The Visitation. Um, and I shall get into the details in a moment but first thing please do hit the like button, share this and I would love you if you could subscribe and hit the notification bell to know when I do another video. Anyway, without further ado, let's get to it. So, it's just been released, um, they were due out from Monday, but they've been coming out um, end of last week. Um, it is a very nice set, um, nice uh, fifth doctor in his, of course, cricket outfit uh, with celery. Um, compared to the fifth doctor we had last year, this is a lot better, um, but then he didn't have his hat. Um, now I will go in quite close so you can have a look at the detail. So I shall go in and hopefully you'll focus. And I think that's a good likeness of Peter Davison. And the TARDIS is very nice. Everything is nice and crisp as it was. Um, paint application is brilliant. I think the salary is great. Standard movement of figures. I'm not going to go into that really. Just want to concentrate on what it looks like. Um, uh, show the back. Is it nice, crisp? Actually, do you know what? That colour is superb because it's just like how it was on screen. Um, the Fifth Doctor. Um, the backdrop is just um, I've just covered up because I'm just in the kitchen. Um, is just the woods from the visitation. I just take the tires away and the Doctor, so you can get a glimpse. Um, and that's it, and that shadowy figure is like the android. So, I shall come back to the TARDIS, and it feels lovely, lovely paint job. Uh, it is just really nice colouring, um, brilliant job on it. Uh, door's still the same, you open that one and you press the button, of course. There, my finger is, shuts, or I push this one, and this one just opens normally. And both of them together. There's nothing inside. Of course, you can print it off uh, around the backdrop or the console. Uh, should be easy to find online. Um, I think the size you want is about six by four. To be honest, I have yet to get around to doing all mine. That's the reason I haven't because I forgot. At one point, I didn't know what size, but now I do. So I haven't got around to it. Anyway, that's the TARDIS. This is non-electronic, by the way. Um, it has, of course, a speaker because this one originally was. The Seventh Doctor's TARDIS many many years ago. Now I'm just going to compare the Fifth Doctor in a moment, but I want to compare with the TARDIS released last summer. Um, again, the B&M exclusive. So bringing this one in. So very similar in blue, except the one on the right is more uh, weathered, more dirty. Um, that one is based, of course, on the caves of Androzani. Uh, which do I prefer? Um, I have to say, I think I prefer the cleaner one. And the lamp, of course, on this turn is absolutely right. It did have that block on the bottom of it. Um, overall, fairly accurate. I know they're not 100%, but that's uh, a minor thing. You know, it represents the fifth Doctor TARDIS and it's a very good representation I mean for 1999 you get a TARDIS and a figure so I don't think that's a bad price so there you go the two TARDISes together I have to say I am enjoying getting all these TARDISes anyway I shall just without further ado bring in the figures so this is fifth Docky um, from this set now I'm not going to show you the one from last year because he doesn't have a hat. So I'm going to bring in the previous release and you'll see the difference. First of all his legs are much uh, kind of at a stance. Uh, that was released in August 2010. Uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. It came with the Anthony Ailey Master figure in the suit which is really like the chameleon robot. I do wish they would release a proper Anthony Ainley master figure. I would love them to do that. Uh, maybe one day. Anyway, I should just go in a bit closer. 
the similar sculpt. Um, that's that one, that's the older one. I think it's just the paint job on the new one is much better than the trousers. I just think over the years though, uh, I mean it is now, oh gosh it's more than 10 years old now, well just over uh, by a couple of months. It's just faded um, in the years, um, but pretty similar. And I'm going to show you another one, another hatted fifth doctor figure. Slightly different, I'm just going to move this one to a side because I still want to keep this one here. Now this one was released um, seven years ago. He's just got blue tack on his feet because it's from my cabinet. Blow oops. You don't want to stand up, stay. Now this one, of course, is season 21. Um, that was released in 2013 for the 50th anniversary as part of a Toys R Us exclusive. I'm only showing that one because it's just a hatted version as well. Uh, so I thought you'd like to compare. And of course, his costume is a bit different for season 21. But that's that. So I should just take him out. Uh, I'm going to take this one out. Because I just want to, before I finish off, uh, concentrate on this new one here. Which again, close up, I think is a very good figure. And it's a nice addition to my collection. And I do recommend you getting it if you can. Um, if you haven't got any TARDISes, do buy this one. Um, this is a very nice prop. But I say prop, it's not the actual prop. You know, a very nice representation, I mean, of the Fifth Doctor's TARDIS. All we need now is the Sixth Doctor's. I know a lot of you would love the Seventh Doctor's re-release. Um, an Eighth Doctor's would be one wonderful and a proper first one. We can but dream. I mean, I don't think there's going to be anything now until next summer now, anyway. Unless they do another online exclusive. Anyway, there we go. So I'll just leave you to have a look. Some close-ups. I'll just move that out of the way of the door. The signage, it's lovely. It's all nice and crisp. Good figure. Good TARDIS. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, I recommend it. And I shall just, with that one last thing, just take it out. I'll just show you the box. The box is open. I don't do unboxing because it's a lot easier for me anyway. Um, there's the box. It just says, The Fifth Doctor and TARDIS from The Visitation. Um, just the current logo. A picture on the side. And also, which is nice, a um, little bit of history of this uh, story and the TARDIS. Written by Eric Saywood. I think it's Eric Saywood's first story he wrote. Um, so, yep. Yeah. With opening doors, it says. Wow. Now, I won't criticize it. It's a very nice TARDIS to have. And, uh, you know, it's a good representation of the actual TARDIS. So, there we go. Pop it back. The last look before I sign off for the evening. And I hope you like this little mini review of the Fifth Doctor's TARDIS from the Visitation. There we go. So remember, hit that subscribe button, like this and share the video. Hope you're all well. Take care and we'll catch you soon. Bye.